Well, hello, I'm David Freeman with Is That Really in the Bible? I want to look at one of the most encouraging verses in the Bible for the times, for such a time as this, the time that we now live in. You know, I don't know of anybody with three brain cells lined up in their head who would honestly say things, the direction that America is going is really, really great. No, I think, you know, most people would admit something is dreadfully wrong with the direction this nation is going. Uh, we have rejected God who has blessed us for a socialistic form of government. We really have, government has replaced God is basically the issue here. And you know, there's a verse in the uh, Deuteronomy, I believe, it says, now, if you will hearken unto the voice of the Lord your God, and these, these, you know, all these blessings shall come upon you. And they were national blessings that if, if as a nation we would obey God, keep his commandments, keep the Ten Commandments, then all these blessings would come upon us. You know, blessed shall you be in the city, blessed shall you be in the country, blessed shall your children be, blessed when you come in, blessed when you go out. And then the other side of the coin is, now if you will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord your God, all these curses shall come upon you. And, you know, the way I basically understand this is this, if you God speaking here, if you replace me with another God, now we all know the first commandment, you shall have no other gods before me. Okay, what are we guilty of here? In other words, what we're guilty of is this, if, if you replace me with your government, which, is, which really is another God, the God of government, if you do that, you know, well that's a violation of the first commandment right there. You should have no other gods before me. Now, socialism, the, the, the definition here, socialism, is a, it's a way of organizing your society in which a, a major, uh, the major industries are owned and controlled by the government. In fact, in a way, the people are owned and controlled by the government. In other words, the way I understand socialism is this. When you replace God with government, when you replace God with government, did you know many, many years ago, thousands of years ago, the original intent that God had was for man to be self-governed, to have the law of God written upon his hearts and mind and to allow that law to govern his life. It has always been God's intent for each individual to be self-governing, to govern himself. But very early in the history of the Bible, the children of Israel said, now we want to be like the other nations. Give us a king or give us a president to reign over us. In other words, they got tired of taking personal responsibility for their actions. They got tired of governing themselves. And they wanted to be like the others who had a king, who had a president, who would tell them what to do. And, and you know, it was Samuel, I think, God said to Samuel, said, look, they haven't rejected you, Samuel, but they have rejected me. You know, when you allow your government to do for you what you should be doing for yourself, that is a stench in God's eyes, in God's nostrils, because we are to be self-governing. We are to govern ourselves. And when we shirk that responsibility for a socialistic communist form of government. When you replace God with government, that is a stench in the nostrils of God. It is a rejection of God when you do that. Now, Check us out on the web at isthatreallyinthebible.com.